Hello, kidney problems can arise because, uh, one, because of an infection, secondary because of a stone, third is because of a metabolic disorder, uh, fourth is uh, an autoimmune disease, and uh, fifth uh, can be an obstruction. So there are many uh, problems in the body that can uh, also give rise to problems in the kidney. But generally, those are the things that you would uh, look Okay, so if you have an infection, of course, you have to address the infection. If you have an obstruction or stones, you have to address the stones, uh, metabolic disorder, autoimmune diseases. So that's the main thing there. And then you can take in lemongrass tea if it's just a basic uh, kidney infection. Uh, drink that three times a day. Also, parsley can help you and baking soda. Bye! What is the best herbal medicine? For kidney failure. Okay, the best herbal medicine, everyone is saying about aligatong. Okay, tiba? Marami kayo nakikita, aligatong. So, okay, I have nothing against them, okay? Again, my only reason is that I have not tried them, okay? So, the one that I would usually tell uh, people is that the ones that I have tried, okay? Mm -hmm. So, if you have kidney failure, the best is baking soda. One teaspoon, three times a day, put it in water, okay? Now, the problem with chronic kidney failure is that you can have congestion because your kidneys are not functioning properly. So, they're not excreting uh, a lot of water, okay? So, you will have congestion. That's why they have edema, Okay, so just be careful. So you put it in water, you drink it three times a day. But watch your water intake. Yes. So garlic, ginger, and guyabano leaves. So what I do is that as many as you can, okay? Kung kaya yung i-blenderize, if you can do blenderization, you do it. Okay? But if you cannot, you can also boil it. Boil and then drink. Okay, garlic, ginger, and goyabano leaves. So those are my basic herbs, okay? Now, it depends if you have diabetes. So you can use, in addition to that, you can use serpentina or insulin plant, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if you are if you are suffering from kidney chronic kidney disease, Dr. Farah Protocol says you have to take baking soda. So one teaspoon, three times a day, in a limited amount of water, okay? May help. This may help, okay? So CKD, baking soda, one teaspoon, three times a day in a limited amount of water. And do not take a lot of fruits because the fruits, they are rich in potassium, okay? Especially for patients who have kidney disease. Hindi pwede tumaas ang... No, no, yeah, friends, I'm sorry. Friends so especially for friends who have say, uh, a chronic kidney disease, if your potassium increases, you will have a heart attack. So, pwede ko kayo magkaroon ng attack sa puso. You can, you can have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. So, it's better not to uh, take in a lot of fruits or always check your potassium if you have a kidney disease. Always remember. Okay. Nephropathy. IGA. IGA. IGA nephropathy. Uh, well, I, I couldn't tell if it was Tagalog or not. <laughs> Maganda po dyan sa kidneys is, meron akong isang, I, actually one was telling me a couple of uh, days ago, uh, she said that she was using uh, honey and cinnamon. So maganda sa kanya yung, yung honey and cinnamon. And uh, uh, she said that her, her son recovered. Oh, the son was the one who had IgA nephropathy. So uh, maganda rin po dyan, Boston C, Megadose Vitamin and Pix Vitamins and Pixie Dance. Um, yes. Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease. Okay, so there's one kidney stones. Okay, so for kidney stones, you need some pasampalukan. That's the best. Sampasampalukan, makikita nyo na sa it's just very tiny plant. Parang siyang sampalok, but at the end, meron siyang, meron siyang parang mga bilog-bilog. So, sampasampalukan, those are your stone breakers. And you eat a lot of, you also eat, uh, you can use tanglad. So, paiihiin ka niyan, sambong. And magnesium. Magnesium is the best for stones. Kasi, usually the stones are made up of calcium, di ba? 
So if there's a lot of magnesium in our system, so yung yung hindi sila mag, yung, yung mga stones natin will not bind yung mga crystals will not bind to calcium. Instead, will they will bind to magnesium. And magnesium is it will not form a stones unlike the calcium. So magnesium is good. So what are the foods that are rich in magnesium? Green leafy vegetables. Those are good for you. I was noticing a while a short time ago as well. Someone said they used to have kidney stones. Is it safe for them to take vitamin C? Mm -mm. It is. It's it's safe for you to take vitamin C. Because does, does, fact, does vitamin C cause kidney stones? No, no, it's not. Is it's, there any study that definitively shows that in uh -huh. the some history of medical literature in history that shows that elevated levels of vitamin C cause kidney stones? No, no. Nah. It's, it's anecdotal old wives tale. Mm -hmm. You were taught that in medical school, weren't you? I was taught, yes. Without evidence. But then I started giving it also to my patient. And I'm giving it mega doses pa nga, diba? 20, 20 grams. And in some cases, they would, uh, if if the effect is not, is not evident, they would take around uh, 40 grams pa nga. So, and they would take it for a couple of uh, months. Wala naman, wala naman silang... Uh, Wala naman nag-develop ng stones. As far as I know, that's it, just my, I'm just talking about myself, my experience. Because I don't want to influence other people as well. Well, I can uh -huh. tell you, there is no definitive study showing a causal link in uh -huh. the history of medical literature. Mm -mm. So this, And it's a required nutrient. Mm -mm. Yeah, vitamin C is a required nutrient. So how can, it, how can it be good and bad? Um, what would be your general how recommendations? Many? Over 900 plus. Oh, Okay, the first question to ask is what caused the CKD, the chronic kidney disease? If it's because of diabetes, then you have to address the diabetes first, okay? So, you, marami yan, complicated yan. Now, the problem if you have CKD is the metabolic acidosis, which is uh, usually uh, one of the complications in hyperkalemia. So, mataas yung potassium niya, pwede siyang maatake sa puso. So, it's better that you don't uh, let your your dad, grandpa, or who, whoever it is, don't let him eat uh, fruits. Kasi yung fruits so ay mataas sa potassium. So anything that would increase the potassium would cause heart attack. And to combat with the metabolic acidosis associated with your CKD, ang pinakamaganda ho dyan is baking soda. Diba? Mga doktor nga, yan ang binibigay, eh, sodium bicarbonate. Yeah, sodium bicarbonate, it's basically... Uh, baking soda. Now, the problem is remove the aluminum. You have to choose baking soda that are free from aluminum because the aluminum is also bad for the body. Especially if you have CKD, hindi mo na nga matanggal yung, yung heavy metals inside your body. Magdadagdag ka pa ng aluminum.